Okay, I'm joined by Manager Steve Heath for a, a rare interview uh, on camera. Um, Heath here, just talk about last season and how you felt it went. Obviously, we got to the playoffs and that, and unfortunately lost to where. But um, yeah, how did you find the season as a whole? Yeah, I mean, like um, any season, it's always tough um, that we finished third in the end, which was a good achievement by the players um, in a tough league. And the getting beat in the playoffs is always tough. It's the second time we've, yeah. we've had it in the semi final, um, but it was quite tough this time with um, getting beat on penalties. Yeah, obviously, BJ missed the penalty during normal time as well, which didn't help, but it happens, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. There, weren't, there weren't a lot in the game. Um, mm. You know, they were a good team mm. where you know, we struggled against them. They, yeah. they were the only team that beat us um, in three games. Yeah. Um, and they've got, you know, they've got a little bit of everything. You know, they can mix it, they can play, they can go long. You know, and they're, they're tough to play against. Yeah. And um, you know, we took it the distance. I think if BJ, probably if he, you know, I think he'd be the first. I think if we scored a penalty before half time, we'd probably win the game. But yeah. that's in hindsight. Yeah, anyone you can know. miss a penalty. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, and obviously, you know, not being funny about all of his goals that he scored over the years yeah. and last season, we wouldn't have been there anyway. No, definitely. You know. Yeah, he's been amazing for us over oh, the years. Yeah, I mean, he's an absolute legend, isn't he? Yeah, loyal as well, as you know. <laughs> yeah. um, so going back to probably pre-season, how did you find that? Um, pre-season is always tough. Any manager yeah. will tell you that um, we all hate pre-season. Um, I think pre-season, if you've had a bad season, yeah. um, then pre-season can be quite good because mm. you, you, um, you're thinking, right, you know, it's a fresh start. Or might be a... When, when it was like us last year, we had a good season and then you go into pre-season, you don't, you don't get a break because the players, a lot of the players got, get offers because they've done well. Yeah. Um, so we had to work really hard to keep the group together. Um, and I think... If you speak to art like I do, you speak to other managers, they'll all tell you the same thing. You know, it's hard, it's hard in pre-season. Mm -hmm. I think if you like to just talk about where, you know, they got to the playoff final um, and then Paul struggled to keep a few of his boys, you know, for their yeah. offers elsewhere. Um, so he's had to recruit. Um, Christy Van at Burkhamps did. He's had to uh, obviously reshape his team mm -hmm. um, with his £800 pound a week. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yeah, obviously, you've brought some new players in over the summer as well. I think four or five new signings. Um, probably good signings as well, to be fair. Um, how did you come about signing them? And have you been after them for a while? Or? Yeah, I mean, look, you always, you always look to freshen things up. Um, we felt we needed, you know, obviously, to, to bring a few in. Um, so what we brought um, Lucas and, and Jordan in, uh, have, you know, settled straight. They've, they've settled in really well. Um, you know, good lads and um, good players. Um, so they've added. Um, young Max has come in and I've been really impressed with Max. You know, he's, he's not an easy good player, but he works so hard for the team. Um, and he seems to have settled into the group. Um, Louis Collier, I think it was six, six goals now. Yeah. You know, like that, yeah. that's, a, that's a great return. For yeah. young lad. Yeah, exactly. What people forget about um, Louis as well is that he'd had 15 months out mm. with an injury and then they'd had Covid before that. Yeah. So um, he probably played a little bit too much at times, you know, yeah. with the, he had you know, quite a serious injury. Um, and due to a lot of our injuries, we've had to probably play him a little bit more than what I was hoping. But yeah. he's, he's, got, he's a real talent. Yeah, he's only 19, is he? 20? He's, I think he's 20 now. Yeah. Yeah, he just turned yeah. 20. You know, like he's got, he's got a lot of learning to do, yeah. um, like a lot of that, especially without the ball. But yeah. there's no, you know, like you know, he get he's got this knack, isn't he, of being in the right place, and he, yeah. you know, like you look at his goal he's finishing, right. yeah, it's very really good, it's really good. Um, yeah. So he's come in, um, and then just signed young um, Luke um, Beckwith from from Leverstock Green, someone we've been looking at now for the last year or so. Um, we know he's going to be a talent, you know, we've just, um, just got to take him a little while just to get used to the level. Um, and then um, we've just signed Michael Shimoda to come in, and she's not been playing for a while. Mm. Um, there's, you know, a little bit of cover up top. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think the other thing is as well, we have to remember as well, we've had a few youngsters come in, like if you look at, um, you know, young Shams up top. Yeah. 
18 years old, you know, he's been brilliant. Yeah, he's got a raw talent, that's for sure, obviously. Yeah, he's got a big future. Yeah. If he, you know, he's... Keeps his head down and gets yeah, on Yeah, you always need a bit of luck with injuries as a player. But he's, he's got, you know, um, he's, he's the next one off the production line. Yeah, that's... that's you know, we've, we've been, as a club, we've always managed to bring the youngsters through. And, mm-hmm. and look, I can't take a clip like, that, like um, you know, Dave Collins and, 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 and Colin, you know, with development, they've got to take a lot of credit. Yeah. They know they're the ones that sort of develop the player and then it's down to me yeah. whether I think they're ready to come in. Yeah. And, um, and he's ready. Yeah, he's been fighting in the deep end really, obviously with BJ's injury and, and stuff that really. I yeah, we've, bit... um, you know, again, you know, you, you, you bring him into pre-season, you you say to him, you know, it's going to be a gradual thing. And then all of a sudden he started four games. Yeah. But he's coped really well with it. And he's yeah. looking strong, you know, and his runs he's making, and, you know, he's, it's a handful. Yeah. You know, and it's, you know, it's made me have a little rethink about things as well. A little yeah. bit, you know. We're, we're not, what, we're not being desperate to go and sign someone. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Um, obviously going back to Max as well, obviously probably one of our stand-up, stand-up opponents last season. Thought... When we played down here, you probably the best player I've seen play against us definitely last season anyway. Um, yeah, Max likes playing against us. Yeah. I think he'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the pitch. Yeah. Um, but let's be honest, he, he's, he always scored against us, you yeah. know. And um, that was obviously where he, he caught the eye a little bit yeah. if someone was allowed it. You know? And I've had to work hard to get Max in. Yeah. As, like, as much as we had to work hard to keep the squad together, um, it, it's been hard, you know, it's... Um, it's tough. It's it's look, all all us managers. We just want the best for the clubs when you manage them. And um, everyone's going. Everyone's fighting to get the same players. Yeah. You know. And um, so yeah. So I feel quite lucky. I'm, I'm happy with with, with the um, recruitment. Yeah. So cool. far. So going back to this season, I've already played about seven or eight games now, obviously due to what happened a month ago and the Korean dying and stuff. How have you found the games? And are you happy with the um the Sorry, the the feedback of results compared to performances. Yeah, so I'm just trying to. So we kicked off at Barton. Yeah. We played away at Barton. Um, it's always the it's it's a local derby, and yellow. You know, we like I, you know I've got a lot of respect for yellow and for Barton, yeah. and it's always tough. We always find it tough against them. Yeah. And we had to work. It was a really hot day, wasn't it? Yeah, it's quite a steady. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really hot day, and we had to work hard for that. Um, and you know, and obviously as usual, BJ comes up with his goal, yeah. um, and sort of then set the game up for us a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think that's the only game he started, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and then, and then was it high, high work? High work at home, yeah. Like high on the Tuesday, um, played really well. We we um, we we started the game really well. Played some really good football. I think we was two 0 up quite early against them. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I lost like again. That they second half they come out and worked really hard. You know, I had a lot of respect for them. You know, like yeah. a lot of teams, you, they go two 0 down early on and then fold, and they didn't, and they made it really difficult for us. I think we won the game three 0 Yeah, a bit of an unknown team as well, obviously, because yeah. we played them last season. They obviously have a long journey here, but they, yeah, they did quite well second half, as you say. And, um, was it Edgware? Yeah. <laughs> in, in the FA Cup, oh, disappointing. What was we two one up with thirty seconds to go? Yeah. Lack of discipline. Um, we can wear a free kick. They they scored. Took it to the replay. Mm-hmm. And I'll be honest, a little bit disappointed that night the way we played. But you have to give them credit. You know, and things went against us. You know, obviously we went against the time. Um, and the referee give a penalty. Yeah. I think the referee give a penalty in what the last thirty seconds. Yeah. Um, so that was tough to take. But they they look, they were good. They were a good outfit. Yeah. Yeah. They were. Well, yeah, sorry, I thought their midfield was decent on the night. Um, obviously, you say like things went against us with Max, Max's injuries during the game. Um, but yeah, it was frustrating. Like, that's for sure with the penalty at the end. Um, but yeah. And, and then, um, and then, what was it? We um, trying to think what the next game was after that. Uh, Hadley, was it Hadley? Yeah, possibly. I can't remember the top of my head. Yeah, no. So then we we played. Um, no, no, we had the Bishop Cleves, didn't we? Yes, yeah, midweek. Um, yeah, yeah, so we had um, Bishop Cleves midweek, which we've done really well. Yeah. It's tough, really tough, you yeah. know, and they play on the Astro, and, 
and what have you. And yeah, we was we was excellent that night. Yeah. Really good all round performance. Yeah. Um, I, I felt it, we looked on the Saturday we played Hadley. He looked a bit tired on the Saturday. Yeah. They worked big fair to Hadley. They worked hard. Mm-hmm. To continue, you know, and yeah. I, I, I think um, you know that was a, I, we, I think we, I think a draw was a fair result that day. You know, and, um, and, it, and then, look, let's be honest, we've, what, we're four league games in, and we haven't lost. Yeah. Um, you know, we kept three clean sheets, obviously up until Wednesday's game. Yeah. So Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday's game. Um, and, um, yeah, obviously four all, conceded four goals. Yeah, not like us at all, really, but... Um... No, we, um, <clears throat> we... We started, it was, it was sort of funny really, it was a funny game, you know, like when you play against, um, when you play against them, um, you know, Hartford, they're, they're, uh, they're hard to play against, mm. you know, they've got some good, they got some good young players, yeah. I like the nine for them up top, mm-hmm. he's give them a little bit of a different dimension, I think, like last year, yeah. you know, let's be honest, you know, it, they'd play 10 passes and wouldn't even get out of their own half, mm-hmm. um, where, like the other night, um, they probably took us by surprise a little bit, a bit more direct than yeah. what they have been. Yeah. Um, to the first goal, um, first goal, I think we had them pinned in a little bit, and then I think the centre half absolutely booms it, and it caught caught our um, two centre halves out a little bit. But the finish from the lad, yeah, it's a top draw, really. It's absolutely, I mean, let's be honest, it's, a, it's yeah. a fantastic finish from him. Yeah, you know, really top draw. Um, and then um, I felt we responded really well. Um, got into them. I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they got out of half for about fifteen minutes. Mm-hmm. We had them pinned in, um, playing some really good football. Um, we'd spoke. We'd spoke about before the game. We knew. We knew they would take risk in certain areas. Um, we always feel like Ben. Ben is a bit of a target. Um, he, you know, like if you know Ben, you know he's got a habit of, of giving, you know, getting caught on the ball in certain areas. And we spoke about that before the game. I think Charlie nicked the ball off of him. We give it to Charlie, yeah. um, and then the finish from yeah. the, the top draw goal. Yeah. Like, it's absolutely brilliant finish mm-hmm. from Charlie. Really pleased for him because obviously he's one of the lads coming yeah. back from injury. Um, then then we get a penalty. Um, some people, I, I, I'm not too sure that the ball with the goalkeeper now. Whether it's sending off or not, probably not. I don't know. I think it's just, if he's made a general attempt to play the ball, he gets a yellow. But that's that's the new rule, I think. Mm. Yeah. Um, Max, really good penalty. And let's be honest, we've absolutely dominated them for what for ten minutes or whatever it was. And that was, I think, that was a turning point in the game. We should have gone in at half time, probably four one. I think we had a really good Lucas had a good chance. Yeah. And there was a few out there and and um and then you always worry, didn't you? Because in football, you know, you, you get your moments and we could have killed the game off. Yeah, especially at two ones a dangerous lead as they say. It is, yeah. And then being fair to them, I mean second half was pretty even. I think he could have gone in, it was like a basketball game. Yeah. <laughs> um I think their second goal, if I remember right, I think their left back had the ball, um, plays a long ball into the nine again. Um, we, we got caught in between, I think it was Gideon and Sam got caught a little bit in between. Um, you know, the nine done well again, held it up, played it off and then they scored from that. Then we've done really well. I think um, played some after some football and we get the penalty. And I think that's the disappointing thing for me was we had enough experience on the pitch. I think it was F, the three two up with fifteen to go. Mm. We've got enough experience on the pitch to bad see that game out. And I was disappointed with the defender in that last 15 minutes from us. Um, they then get obviously another goal. Um, and then they, they score, what was it, in the 80? 80, 89th. 89th minute. Yeah. Um, and then you're thinking, you know, here we go. You know, have we got the character? And I think that's the pleasing thing for me. Mm. You know, a lot of teams, if you concede in the 89th minute, they just fold. Yeah. You know, we showed a lot of character. Um, and it shows how fitness levels weren't bad either. No, yeah. You know, because um, I think he played about five over, didn't he? Yeah. The ref. And we kept going and kept going. Um, their goalkeeper, I think, had the ball, didn't he? Kicked it long. Um, yeah. Ali went one header. And young Luke, who's just come into the team, 
it's a great pass from him, yeah. him and then Louis runs through and it's a brilliant finish. Yeah, top draw finish, yeah. Brilliant finish, you know, at any level of football. It's a really good finish from him. Yeah. Um, so then uh, you, you take the point. <coughs> well, yeah, definitely. I think you know, both really. sides, looking back on it, probably be happy with a point anyway. A bit hard we've been happy with a point before the game and obviously we were looking to win the game, being the home side, but yeah, in the end it's probably a fair result. Yeah, really. that beat, that, that beat a lot of teams this year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, you know, I think the league, like it, like last year, would be tough this year. Yeah. You know, and when you are one of the teams, uh, you know, because we finished third last year, and teams do see you as one of them teams that's going to be up there, you've got to be prepared for people to come and, and know that yeah. they, they want to have a right go at you. Yeah. You know, and that's something we're going to have to deal with. Yeah. And we can see that already. Um, yeah, just going back to the um, the other games. Obviously, we've got Thatcham in there, we've played away as well. Um, yes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of a delay on the coach on the way in. <laughs> um, yeah, Fatchum, I mean, that was a good result. Yeah. Well. It's, it's a trophy as well, isn't it? So you want to yeah. stay in that. Obviously, financially for the club as well. Yes, yeah, finances. It's like the FA Cup, you want to stay in, you want to yeah. stay in the FA Trophy. Um, you know, and it does, it does, you know, make your league form a little bit harder, though, like because of the fixtures and stuff. But, you know, yeah. for me, if you can stay, you know, we, we'll be trying to we'll play, we'll play next week, don't we, in the, yeah. in the trophy. So we'll be looking to win that one. Um, and then we've got Wolves go Saturday. Yeah, I think Nicky Orrington's just gone there as mad as you know. Yeah, I know friend. Nicky. I know Nicky well. Um, yeah, we speak quite a bit. Um, looking forward to having a beer with him after the game. Um, we always, that's what, like us, 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 us old school managers, that's yeah. what we always do. Win, lose, and draw, always have a beer yeah. together. He's a lively um, character on the touchline, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's a good manager. Yeah, yeah. He's a good manager. He's team nice. last year at Welling. You know, when we played him at, at I think around Christmas time, yeah, they were yeah. as good as anything yeah. we played. You know, yeah. let's be honest, you know, they should have been in the playoffs. Yeah. I thought it was off me personally, I thought it was really harsh yeah. um, for them to be kicked out. Yeah. And then a week later, win, win the appeal. Yeah. Um, for me, that does not seem right. You know, so, um, but yeah, no, I know that I'm expecting him to make a few signings this week. Yeah. Because he got the job last Friday. Yeah. So he's obviously would have put seven days in, so it's going to take him a week for the seven days yeah. to go. Um, so I believe what I'm here, I think Jordan Watson signing for him. I think the goalkeeper that was at Ware last year, okay. I hear he's signing. I'd imagine his own boy, George, is probably going to sign. Yeah. Um, you know, I wonder whether maybe Clemo might go back there. Yeah. Um, you know, he's going to try, he's going to try and get his, I would have thought his group yeah. back and then he'll add to it. So we know, um, we know they're going to be decent. Yeah. Obviously, the squad has been hit by lots of injuries at the start of the season. None more so than BJ, obviously, Newman. Um, Tyler's come back, thank God, but um, Sol's probably going to be out for a while, I think, as well. Is there any news on, on them? Well, it's a Sol, unfortunately, Sol, um, very good chance he's gone for the season with an ACL. Um, which is tough on him. Yeah. Um, Nathan Freitas is a scan next week. Obviously, look, we have to, people have to realise that, you know, as a football club, we haven't got the money to pay for scans. Yeah. So the boys, the boys pay for their own scans, yeah. which is a credit to them. But obviously, it takes time. Yeah. They either have to go through the NHS, which is obviously tough, or they have to pay for it themselves. So we, we've, been, we've had that dilemma of not knowing exactly how serious the injuries are. Yeah. Um, so Sol has been confirmed with an ACL. Nathan has got a problem with his, with his Achilles. That will be, um, we'll find out next week how serious that is, but we know he's still in a lot of discomfort, so yeah. that's not good. Um, I'm trying to think, oh, New Newman. Newman. Um, yeah. Newman, um, Carney had a scan done, his knee ligaments, yeah. and um, it, it could have been worse because we was expecting maybe yeah. the meniscus as well. So Newman's now been out for what four weeks, I think. Yeah, so right. he's got about another two to three weeks. So that could have been. So <coughs> we're, that's that's good news in some ways. So we get him back hopefully by the time he's uh, by the time he's done his rehab and stuff. He should be playing the next four weeks, five weeks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we've had so many. I'm trying to think who else. Now. Yeah. Obviously, BJ's got to wait for to see a specialist, isn't he? About his knee. I think. Yeah. Look, BJ. <coughs> we've known for a while that. He's got a problem, mm. but again, he needed to get the scan done. Yeah. Um, there's obviously a reason why he's not been playing, and he's been yeah. on the bench and yeah. and, <laughs> and not going on really. You know, unless yeah. we up and he's, he's had twenty minutes. Um, it's a it's a big it's a massive blow. Mm. 
anyone <laughs> will tell you, you know, that centre forwards are very hard to get. Uh, especially a centre forward that's going to guarantee, you know, like, he's, he's, if he stays fit, he's a guaranteed 30 goals. Yeah. He does that every season. Um, and he's obviously, you know, he's a big part of the club. And when he plays, we're a better team for it. Mm. Um, but the reality is, um, he's definitely not going to be playing for a while. Yeah. But to what extent, we don't know yet. He sees a specialist tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and with just fingers crossed, you know, he's, he's got, he has got a tear of the, um, of the ACL and he's got a tear of his um, meniscus. Mm. But we don't know to, to, to what extent yet. Yeah. So, so we're, we're known by the weekend, hopefully. Um, big loss to everyone, but um, yeah, yeah, big loss to everyone. Um, sorry, our chairman just came in just then. Um, come and join, come and join us if you want. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Right. You have to edit me out. <laughs> um, yeah, going, obviously we're talking about BJ just then. Obviously, going to be a big loss to any team. Four hundred and fifty yeah, appearances. Look, I, yeah, I mean, look. I, I don't think this is, uh, this is a really po- this is a, a big positive for us. I'm not too sure there's many teams in our league that could have um, lost the players that we've lost early. You know, so if you go from a starting team at, at um, Barton away, yeah. we've lost BJ, Nathan, Newman. Um, you know, they're all quite big players for us. Um, on top of that, you've got Seoul. Um, we've had Brett Longdon suspended. <laughs> um, um, ben Farrell missed a lot of pre-season, yeah. so he's had to go out and loan for a month, that was the right thing for him yeah. to do. We've got Charlie that hasn't played for a year and he's obviously just made his, his first game, you know, well, he's not played since last November. Yeah. Um, so so that obviously it's going to take him a little while to get match fit. So I'm not too sure there's there's many squads that could have handled what we've had to get, you know, what we've done. And that's a credit, that's a credit to the players. Yeah. You know, we've been working hard on the training ground as well with the players. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's a credit to them because like, you know, and, and lads are taking their chances. Like, yeah. young Shams has come in for BJ and he's done really well. Yeah. He's done very well, you know, and this is a real positive, you know. Um, what We scored seven goals in the last two games. Yeah. So, you know, um, I mean, and, and defensively, look, we had a little bit of a blip the other night, but we know, we know we're quite strong defensively. Yeah. I mean, it's at some point we have to be able to have BJ anyway in the future or Whenever during the season he might be injured suspended so obviously it gives Shams and maybe another person comes in that opportunity I suppose. Yeah, yeah. what we, we what we do is we'll um we'll wait to see what the specialist says mm. um tomorrow um and then potentially make a decision around that. Yeah. But like I was saying earlier, because of how well Shams has done, we're not in a major rush. Yeah. Are you looking at anyone else coming in over the next few weeks? No. No. No, I'm I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy with what you know, you never know if a player a player yeah. something someone you know it's football that my yeah. player might turn up and you think, do you know what he could do well for us? Mm. But I'm like I was saying a minute ago, you know, we've had a really tough start with the injuries and stuff like that. I and mean, then we've had we've been forced into playing lads that are not quite match fit yeah. as well, because they're coming back from injuries. Yeah. And um, I just think I think we're gonna get stronger. Yeah. You know, I just think if we can just get through this little period at the moment, which we've got a tough period coming yeah. up with fixtures, <laughs> if we can just get through this next month, then we know that we'll get, we will we will get stronger as the season goes on. Yeah, I think we've got eight games in October and seven in November at the moment. And that's before the winter weather comes in. So obviously the squad will be stretched a little bit, I guess. But, uh, yeah, but that's what that's what we're in for. Yeah. You know, that's what you train hard for boys, you know, they know that they, they, they should be ready to, to play, you know, Tuesday, train for Earth, we play Saturday, yeah. that's, what, that's what we do. Sometimes I, I actually think we're better for playing, for, you know, the Tuesday, train for, you know, sometimes, you know, when you go Saturday to Saturday, yeah. I always feel that over the last few years, we've always gained a little bit more momentum when we're playing, yeah. and, and, it, and it's easier to keep the squad happy. Yeah, yeah. Because you've always got lads, you know, that are not happy because they're not playing. Um, and, the, and the games, when the games come thick and fast, then that's that's mm. the opportunity, mate. Like, for me, that helps me. Yeah, definitely. Okay, mate. That's uh, that'll do for this month. I think we'll try and do it every few months and interview with you. And yeah, as you know, I, as you know, I'm not really keen on doing interviews <laughs> after the games. Yeah. Um, I always think you should let your players do the talking. Yeah. Um, on the pitch. 
Yeah. Um, what have you? And obviously, football is quite an emotional game. Yeah. So, so sometimes I'm not the best to speak to after a no, game. No, I know what I've, I know what I'll be like um, yeah. after a game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but I'm more than happy to, to do this yeah. like for you. It'll be you know, kind of yeah. months or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I think BJ's going to do one in a few weeks' time as well. Yeah. And um, just talking about his time at the club and stuff like that. And yeah, it'd be good. Well, he's got a lot of stories to tell. Yeah, I bet he has. <laughs> okay, mate. Thank you very much. No worries. Cheers. Uh,